Hello everyone and welcome to a, another mock video. This one is a mock that I have done using Hero Factory and Bionicle Parts. And it's been a while since I've done a mock video. I've just been a bit uh, busy with a number of other things, but I managed to make another mock because I was able to figure out something that I could make. And, well, this is what I managed to come up with. Now, I had seen a number of different, um, well, I've seen the uh, LEGO Ideas Voltron set. I haven't gotten the set, and I don't have any plans on getting it. But I did want to attempt to try to make my own version out of Bionicle and Hero Factory parts, and this is the end result. Now, it did require the use of spray painting, you know, with the lion mask. Uh, the mask is from the Savage Planet series. It is Raka 3.0's mask. And I just, I just used the one that I had that was spray painted, though I did have to re-spray paint it because some of the paint had gotten off. And this is what I managed to come up with. Alright, so, enough talk. I will go into the whole details with this one. Now, the whole details in getting this one made is that I needed to come up with uh, the feet. And the easy thing to do is to just use the blue and yellow feet that already exist. Well, there were a couple of problems with that, at least from making this mock. First off, I did not have any spare blue feet. I, had, I just don't have any that I could use that were not already in use. And I did not want to take them off of any of my other mocks or any of the official sets I have up. And I also did not want to just take one foot and use it and then leave another foot completely useless. I mean, that I do have two yellow feet, but I, I just did not want to use one and then make the other one be completely useless. So, what I did instead was create my own style of feet. And what that is, is that I used one of the uh, feet pieces from the protectors in Bionicle's 2015 toy line. I just used a couple of them, then used a couple of the half-size lift arm pieces, and one of these lift arm pieces with the ball joints at the end, the ones that were first introduced in the Toa Hordika series of sets. And I just then attached the five long-size armor pieces onto that. This is a very good way for mockers to get uh, styles of feet when they're not available in the right color. And I think that works out better than just using a bunch of bone pieces to create a foot like this. This is certainly quite a good, clever way on making uh, customized feet using the armor pieces right there. Now, of course, you can do this either with uh, colors of armor pieces that do exist uh, in this color, like, even if the feet pieces are available in that color, you can still do it, well, you can mostly do it for any that don't exist. Like, maybe if you want uh, purple feet, but you don't have them, you could use the purple armor pieces and create a foot uh, like this. And I think that works out nicely. And you could also do that for armor pieces, or in a case where you don't want to use one foot of a pair and then leave the other one completely useless unless you can find a use for that single foot. So, that is what I have going right there. So, obviously the blue and leg, the blue and yellow legs are supposed to represent the blue and yellow lions that form the legs of Voltron. And it also looks very similar to the Megazord from Power Rangers. But, but then again, Voltron in itself is generally like a Megazord. Because it's built from five individual giant robots. And, you know, 
I, I did not see the original anime series on Voltron that came out in 1984 when I was a kid. I did see the first couple of episodes of the original series that came out on YouTube. I haven't watched the entire uh, episodes yet, like just uh, four or five episodes so far. I may watch a couple more of them so I can get some more ideas in regards to Voltron or just, you know watching the series in general because of how good of a series it is or how popular of a giant robot Voltron is to some fans. And then for the arms, of course, Voltron uses a red lion for the right arm and a green lion for the left arm. And the left arm is using the translucent armor pieces from the Savage Planet series in Hero Factory. Just took the uh, printing off of it by using an eraser. But I've just discussed that in other mock videos, but you know, if this is your first mock video or if you've forgotten or are wondering why there are no armor pieces, I used an eraser to get them off. I'm sure if you watched my other videos where I've talked about this, you probably already know about that, but there are some people that don't know about this, so I'm just bringing it up just in case this is the first time they're watching one of my videos. If they haven't seen the older videos, I'm just bringing that up to them right now. Something you could have probably done is maybe use the uh, bright green armor pieces from Liwa, but they were too short, and I wanted to have them be at this length. And I also did not want to use the lime green armor pieces because, well, for one thing, the green lion in the Voltron series is the standard green, not the lime green. So that would basically be a color throw-off. So I just used this, the translucent armor pieces because they're a bit closer to the standard green color and not the lime green. And then uh, for the... Uh, well, for the sword, this is the best I could come up with. I know it doesn't look like the sword that was used in the original show or in any other version of Voltron that has come out there. The original sword actually has some sort of a spiky bit at the end of the sword, and I don't have anything that looks like that. This is the best I could come up with. This is a sword from the uh, Knight's Kingdom large action figure series. And then for the body, well, the body uses a black lion for the center. Although something that I didn't quite understand is that, well, I actually saw, not the original, but I think I saw like a CG version of Voltron. I don't know what version of Voltron it was called. It was something that came out in the 90s. I'm not quite sure what Voltron series came out in the 90s. But I know that it was not the original anime series, because I remember it was a CG series. So if you know of any CG Voltron series that came out in the 90s, do let me know. So I will know what version of Voltron it was that I saw. But anyway, something that kind of confused me from seeing that series is the fact that we have a red arm over here, but then we also have red on the chest. And that kind of threw me off a little bit, having, like, supposedly the main body be red and then have an arm be red. Even though the main body, the lion that forms the main body, is primarily black, but it does have a lot of red accents on it. And I originally used a 2.0 series uh, skull cap piece for the chest, but it was not enough red, so I just had to use one of the 2.0 series main chest pieces for this. And he also used a white hero core to represent the symbol on Voltron's chest. But I think that works out very well. I mean, I guess it may be a little too much red, but it, it's enough to satisfy me. And then there are the wings on the back right here. Now, I actually fixed it so that the wings just stay and they don't fold down. I mean, if I took this piece out right here, I could then be able to fold the wings down like that. 
I don't know if it actually happens in the show. I, I haven't watched enough of the series to see if it does do that. But I, at the moment, have them standing out, because most of the time the wings are just standing out. I'm not quite sure if it's actually supposed to imply that he can fly, but then again, since he's a giant robot that fights monsters in space, I guess that's fitting to have wings as he just flies through space. And the head is just the plain white headpiece that is used. Didn't do any modifications for the, uh, for the head. It's just the standard head right there. The actual Voltron face actually has kind of a black and gray face design to it. You know, like having black up at the top and then having gray at the bottom and then has these yellow eyes. But I, I did not bring that in into this mock right here. So that's about it. Not quite sure if this is the best version of Voltron that could be made using the character and creature building system. But, of course, I know that it is obviously not the best LEGO version... The best LEGO version of Voltron that could ever be made. The obvious best version of Voltron that could ever be made from LEGO of any sort would have to be the official LEGO Ideas Voltron set. Now... I didn't mention this earlier, but, you know, obviously I couldn't get the heads of the other lions to show up. Just use silver hands for the arms, and, you know, these are not lion heads, ob these are not lion heads, obviously. But, you know, I'm not quite, I'm not all that concerned about the heads of the other lions. I was not that concerned when I did my Megazord mock, so I... I just was not concerned about doing that here either. And I don't have anything to represent lion heads anyway, other than this mask right here, which, of course, is used for the head. I know that there are some people that are going to complain that I didn't add any horns to the side. Well, sorry to say, there's no way that I can do that, because there's no connection point to add horns to the side of the head. So... I'm pretty happy with what has been brought out. I'm quite satisfied with the look of this thing. I'm not quite sure if I will try to do any updates to it. But I think that it is pretty cool for what it is. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.